Ooh, it's bright today. I can't even hardly see my screen. Oh. What's up, you guys? It's Carly back with another video on a new camera. So y'all hopefully saw the form tour video on this camera. Now we're gonna test out the waters with the recent pickup video angle. Hopefully it looks a lot crispier and sounds a lot nicer too. We're gonna get started. I have a pretty good haul for you guys today. So we're gonna start off with the not so exciting from GameStop. Um, I went there twice. On the first trip, I got this game right here. The Secret of Mana. Sealed for $40. Um, people are having trouble finding this game. Is it like that just pre-owned or is it like that new and pre-owned? Because my GameStop still has copies. So I wasn't sure. I hear people having trouble finding it, but mine had a lot of new copies, so I don't know if it's just I got lucky or what. But let me know in the comments below if you're still having trouble finding this game. Maybe I can hook you up or something. Then, after that, I went to Second and Charles, and I found this. I've been looking for this. If you follow my channel for a while, you know that. Um, Iron Man Sardis Heroes 2. It was... $9.95. Not too bad. That's about what it goes for, but this copy is like so minty fresh. And this is a childhood game of mine, so I'm happy to have it. I mean, it's like mint condition, this card. So, really excited about that. Then, I went back to GameStop again. I actually went to GameStop three times, which I'll see in a little bit. But, I went back to GameStop another time, and I got this John Snow Pop. He was 10% off. I had a coupon. So he was $10, which is a little bit higher than most places, but I wanted to use that coupon. So I got him. He's pretty cool. And then I got this um, switch case. It was $14.99. The reason I got this is because I just went, we had a family reunion, and I brought my switch in a t shirt. And I was like, dang. This is like hardcore bad. So I went ahead and got a switch case. Not nothing too special, just something to carry it around. And it is the Zelda one. Um, just something so I don't have to carry it in a t-shirt anymore. So uh, excited to use this. And then another trip at GameStop. I went and traded in some games that I didn't want, or that I played, that I got from there recently and didn't like, um, and got some games that I've always wanted. And um, the first one's case is messed up, but uh, it is uh, Folklore on the PlayStation 3. It was $13.49, actually I think it was $11.99 Elite Pro price, so not too bad complete with manual you can't see and then the disc is looks like it's never been touched <laughs> and then but the side right here is messed up but I don't have any replacement cases so it's gonna have to do for right now and then the next one I got for $3.99 was this um, Testament of Sherlock Holmes it's an Atlas title it's complete with manual. And I think it's supposed to be kind of like the Telltale games. So I'm looking forward to playing it. Pretty cool. Four bucks, I'll take it. Okay, so this last haul comes with a little bit of a story. Um, my cousin lives down the road from me and she was getting rid of stuff, you know, spring cleaning and all that jazz. And uh, she was like, hey, I have some Guitar Hero stuff. Could you come price it for me? and all this kind of stuff, and I was like, sure, no problem. I go over there, and it's PlayStation 2 Guitar Hero stuff, a bunch of it. And I'm like, wow, awesome. And it's selling for like 200 bucks on eBay, so I'm like, you know, try that. Maybe you'll get some more offers of different prices. And uh, so she did that, and then um, her husband was like, I have the PlayStation, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, and then he opened the cabinet to get it for me. He was just gonna give it to me. And I got really excited because it was a slim so I got this for free for helping price and whatnot so uh it didn't come with these memory cards these are mine but it did come with a uh, 
black controller. Really good condition. And these two memory cards. So I got this one and another big one. So I'll probably delete the stuff off these and then put at least one of them with my PlayStation 2 Fat to sell it with. Um, pretty cool. That's awesome to get that for free. So it came with all the cables and stuff. I just showed y'all just the console itself because it's easier. Well, then they had a bunch of Wii stuff and Xbox 360 stuff and was like, um, come back another day and help us with this stuff too. So I went back and went through all their stuff, told them what was worth something. They have Wii stuff too, but they kept all the Mario's and Mario Kart's and Smash Brothers. They had Smash Brothers Melee and like four GameCube controllers because their Wii's backwards compatible with the GameCube. They kept all the good GameCube stuff and the controllers to keep for like Christmas time when everybody comes over and plays. No big deal, um, because I had most of the stuff that they were selling anyways. But, um, I priced out their, their 360 had rendering and death, so they gave me the cables. I'm not going to show that in the video. They just gave me a power cable for it and, uh, the AV cable. I'll just trade that in GameStop, get a few extra bucks and trade credit for that. Um, they also gave me this hard drive. So that's good. My mom needs one in her 360. They also gave me this uh, wireless adapter, which my little sister needs in her 360. They gave me this 360 charging base, Nyko, with two battery packs. And um, that's it for the stuff they gave me. And then I paid, um, I priced out their stuff. They had a bunch of Halos, a bunch of Call of Duties, that kind of stuff. I wasn't interested in that. I have most of that already. I told them like three bucks a piece um, on Facebook Marketplace or 30 for all, something like that. And then um, I put a some stuff in a pile that I wanted. And she was like, make me an offer. And so I did that. And um, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, let me, I have one more thing that I need to get that I also got from her. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I'm going to start off with what I got. I got all the stuff I'm about to show you for $25. The stuff before that was all free from them. So, the first thing I got was Xbox 360 controller. It has a charge pack in the back. Um, I don't need this. So, what I'm going to do is... So as I was saying, I don't need this. So what I'm gonna do is put, keep the charger, the battery pack. Ooh, these guys. Um, keep the battery pack. And then I'm gonna put this battery door in the back of it. It's always good to have extra of those laying around. Boom, I'm trading this into GameStop. So, then I went through her games. Oh wait, hold on. I also got this controller. Really good condition again, C3 Blue PlayStation 2 controller. Like it a lot. And then all these games, I'm about to show you, I got for $3 each. Some of them I bought like out of pity. <laughs> Cause um, <clears throat> I wanted to be able to get rid of some stuff and they're not really worth anything, but at the same time, I might play them. I might use them as bundlers, you never know. But the first one I got is Blazing Angels squadrons of world war ii by the way all these games are like mint um completely manual they really took care of their stuff along with all the controllers and stuff too they're all in really good condition we play complete with manual like i said all these were three dollars a piece super monkey ball banana blitz Complete with manual. Hope you guys are liking the new camera. I'm liking it a lot. Um, Super, Smash, the Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I don't know if I'm going to flip this or keep it. The manual is gigantic on this, but it's complete with manual. Then I got a 007 Quantum of Solace. Complete with manual. Um, Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube. 
completely manual. Now, this is weird to me. Okay, this is my copy of Sonic Mega Collection. It's not player's choice, but it doesn't have the only for GameCube on the corner like this one does. So, I think I'm going to keep the one I bought from them. It's just in really good condition. This one is too, but I like that it says only for GameCube on it. So, I'm probably going to keep this copy and flip this one. So, just thought that was kind of weird that they didn't put only for GameCube on this one. So, I don't know. But anyways, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. This is flipping material right here. Although, I don't think it's going for very much anymore. Call of Duty World at War. Flipping material. To get some of my money back. And then Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Flipping material. Um, I don't know if this is used or not, but there's a two-day gold trial code if y'all want it. Just comment below if it worked and if you used it so no one else has to waste their time trying to get it. So, yeah. All that stuff basically for $25. I thought that was a great deal. Um, I helped them out. They helped me out um, to get some stuff that I wanted. Nothing too crazy, but still for $25 for all that. <sighs> I'm not complaining. What's up, guys? Um, so I thought I would add this at the end of this video. This pickup. Um, I traded this in a couple days ago. Game, or traded in some stuff to GameStop for this because they were doing 40% extra trade, trade credit for it. I traded in like Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, um, uh, Walking Dead, Telltale. What else did I trade in? Um, gosh, um, Sonic Generations and some more stuff I don't remember. But anyways, I got a bunch of trade credit and I was able to get that. God of War, which I've been playing, by the way. Uh, it's really good. And I have like $40 extra credit left over. So yeah, I'll throw this in at the end of the video. Back to the actual end of the video. So anyways, that's my pickups for this time, you guys. And I hope you guys like the new camera. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace, happy gaming.